Wedding Guest and this is Disrupt TV. We're right here with you at another beautiful wedding. This one is really close to my heart. This one is like my baby sister, Imade Ibnadion, and she's getting married to a lineage of the Oba Palace. It's MZ16. Let's go. So I'm here with the very, very gorgeous couple, my personal girl, Imade Ibnadion and Prince Osmond Ereka. MZ16 and wedding guests was doing a takeover. Woo. So how are you guys feeling today? We're, we're feeling good, anxious. It's about that time. Good. <laughs> are you excited? Very. Are all your outfits ready? Very, everything ready? All your clothes, ready. everything? Very, very ready. Both of you? Absolutely. Okay, so what do you guys feel is going to be the longest part of the ceremony on the night? Definitely the ceremony that's going to take place at my granddad's. The whole um, pain of bride price and, mm -hmm. you know, the tradition. Ready to sleep. Mm -hmm. We're about to give them like, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So what would you say has been the most challenging thing for both of you in this wedding planning? Trying to get people from my mom's side all the way down from Boni Island down to Benin and just, you know, still, it's with two different people from two different backgrounds. So, you know, I'm still learning a bit about, you know, his family, you know, things that I need to do. He's vice versa, him too. Learning about my family, what, you know, needs to be done and all of that. I can definitely relate to what she's saying. Um, you know, it's preparation has been tough but it's definitely gonna be handled. Um, I'm from a huge family as well, and the majority of my siblings live in the US. Uh, a Nigerian traditional attire is in red. With oh, the, you have to um, wear it red? Yes, as a prince. And also with my uh, cultural stuff and as far as like beads. And so there's a type of concern. beads that you have to wear? Absolutely, yes. Prince of the Office Palace of the Prince of, you know, what are the things that you're not allowed to do? Like what your wife is not allowed to do. Like the Oba will probably call you and be like, hello. What is that? It's regular as far as like marrying someone else, your wife should be submissive, respectful, and Oh, so there's nothing like major like, oh, she can't be from this tribe and she can't be from that tribe. Well, at the end of the day, it's my decision who I want to get oh, married to. Oh, so there's to. nothing major like that. No. Baby, let's have a good time. So you're getting married to Oba Palace lineage. I mean, I was trying to get information from your husband, trying to see if there's like plenty of rules so I can warn you in advance. <laughs> no, but there's no rules. It's nothing major. It's just really chilled. Whatever he says goes. So how do you feel about, you know, going into royalty, I guess? Well, I think Ozzy was only trying to be conservative when he didn't tell you about the amount of rules and limitations <laughs> that we'll be having. Maybe he wasn't trying to scare me away or anything. But I'm happy about it. I've always felt like I was a princess. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell us some of the rules? Okay, well, the most, the one that I knew before, you know, even anything is you need to be awake before 
the elders of the house. You need to be awake, dressed, everything ready and just there. For instance, his mom can't wake up before me. Like, I need to be able to wake up before her. I'm in the palace. <laughs> so I, I think your cat is just having a field day. Just decided to come and stand behind me. Caddy. Caddy, can you go down, please? Caddy. <laughs> Would you say that both of you have let up on all your closet secrets? Absolutely. As or, a partner, um, that I'm willing to spend the rest of my life and I'm willing to, you know, let her know, whatever. Um, I'm sure everything I need, to, I need to tell her she already knows. I feel like before you and um, the person decide to get married, honesty is, you know, you know like really important. And, um, you know, we've spoken to each other about, you know, our past and he knows everything that there is to know. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. did, did anything in particular scare either of you when you were sharing your secrets? Well, there are certain things that you say, whoa, this is cool, or oh, it's very interesting to know, but none of them has been really um, negative to the point that I'm shook. You understand what I'm saying? Mm, yeah. It's something that we both can analyze and, you know, and laugh over, because mm -hmm. now these are the past and, you know, it's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. certain things and, yeah. That's awesome. So no family secrets hidden. It's gonna that one wicked person will come at the wedding oh, day no, and be no. like, yeah, no, <laughs> it's a lie. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no not at all. Mm -mm. Nothing like that. Mm. Good energy. Whoa, okay, what I can remember from the proposal story is uh, he got on one knee and he said, baby, will you marry me? And then he also gave me like a, a nice check also as a wedding gift. <laughs> so like, he was like, I was actually very surprised because when I saw the ring, I was already like, yes, yes. And then after that, then the check came and I'm like, whoa. Like you're bombarding me, but definitely, you. yes. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna marry this man. <laughs> so it's MZ16.